For my family, gotta build a legacy. I'ma be the man when I'm dead. Work too hard, I can't slip up, so I'm clutching tight on this lid. What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment. Back with another MLB The Show 21. We're on the New York Mets franchise. And today we're gonna be starting up a new series versus the Boston Red Sox. And before we get into this game, let's go and take a look to see what Boston has been doing on the season so far. So we take a look. They are 13 and 10. I kind of struggled with the Seattle Mariners the last time. I almost called them the Seahawks. <laughs> but they ended up splitting that series 2-2. And they're kind of, you know, just up and down. They're 500 ball club, so we're going to see how this one ends up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, want to mention, this is going to be the first time I do a live commentary. So I'm interested to see how this goes. If it ends up working out for us, great. If it's better for me to not do it live, then, you know, we won't do it live. So hopefully, you know, you guys give me some good feedback and we'll be able to figure this one out together. Let's get into this game versus the Boston Red Sox. See you guys in there. Carlos Carrasco gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he wipes people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. And for the leadoff man, Xander Bogarts, Carlos Carrasco, we're hoping for another good outing out of you, man. See if we can go ahead and get this strikeout. That's not what we want, that slider. It was pretty much hung. But we'll be out there with Brandon Nimmo to get out number one to start off this ball game for us. Let's get to it. Red Sox starting off with an early out. Alex Verdugo will step into the box. And yeah, that slider was in a terrible position. And he had good timing on it. And very next pitch, we're getting a pop-up. So we'll gladly take it, J.D. Davis over there to get the out number two looking for another 0-2 pitch can't we get him out of here pitch count starting to get higher than what we want but we're gonna get the strikeout Carrasco sitting JD Martinez down you ain't the real JD technically kind of are but you know what we ain't gonna worry about it getting out of this first inning with a strikeout one two three inning great stuff for Carlos Carrasco to start us off here early Garrett Richards will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan, any thoughts? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out of me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, and he still gets people out. It'll be fun to watch this guy work in this one today. Brandon Nimmo is going to lead us off here in this one. We actually moved Jeff McNeil down quite a bit in the batting order just because mainly it was just probably time for him to kind of move down. Kind of been struggling the last few weeks. Well, not a few weeks, a few series. So we're just going to move him. Hopefully Nimmo, you know, can give us some good power up at the top of the lineup. Brandon Nimmo right now is in an early batter. He's already seen five pitches. Just trying to stay alive. He is the leadoff man for us in this one. Hopefully he's not going to end up going down, and that one's going to be right back to the pitcher. Curveball right there to him. Slow pitch. Weren't able to read it. Thought we were getting that slider once again, and that's going to be out number one. We'll take it, though. He got six pitches. And just to go ahead and look at the lineup, yeah, man, we made some changes slightly. Pete Alonzo and Conforto dropping down. We moved McNair down to eight. He's just kind of been struggling. So we're just going to kind of move up some guys, and we're pretty much getting our power guys up more. Lindor is up to bat now, 0-1 count. Let's see if he can get something going here. Oh, got a pitch right down the middle, but it's going to pretty much pop this one up. Just missed with that PCI place, and we shouldn't have moved it really at all. Lindor may have been able to get the first run in this ball game. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., he's been huge the last, he can't, the last couple series. And unfortunately right here, he's not going to be huge for us here. As he grounds this one out, one pitch out. Boston, one, two, three. Mets, one, two, three. It's been a quick first inning. Let's see what happens here in a second. Rafael Devers, the other big bat in this lineup. We have to really worry about batting cleanup for him. He is batting 317 on the year. We're looking for the strikeout. Not going to get it here, but we'll get the fly ball out there to Michael Conforto over there in right field, close to that foul line. And that man, that ball was in there for a long time. That's going to be out number one in a second. He had a good little battle with Carrasco there. 
Bobby Dahlbeck is up to bat. He's batting fifth, and I, I can't say I know who he is, and he's batting point .148 on the year. Not a good start for him. So he lines this one out there to Gary Jr. in left field, and that'll be out number two here in the second. Christian Vasquez is coming up to bat now. Batting six in their lineup, batting 224 on the year. Carrasco looking to keep dealing. He's going to get a fly ball out here to right field. Coming on strong is Conforto, and he is there for out number three in the second inning. Headed to the bottom of the half. Let's see if these guys can get it going. J.D., Pete, Conforto. Let's go, boys. Full count. J.D. Davis is leading us off here in the bottom of the second. Trying to find a way to get on base here and be the first base for another ball game. Going to get down on that fastball. Sends it straight to center field. And that's going to be our number one to start the second inning. With one out, Pete Alonzo will come up to bat the big boy. Seeing if he can get something going to hit it to left field. That'll be the first base run in this ball game. Didn't get the PCI all the way over like we would have wanted to. But hey, we'll take the base hit. Is this the first base run in this ball game for either ball club? It's been a nine pitch at bat. Pitch number nine. We end up ch chasing down there. Hopefully we're able to get a walk. We'll find a way to just avoid the double play. We're one out here in this one. We're going to get a ground over there weakly to right field, and that's going to be an easy base hit for Conforto. We actually swung the ball forward once again, but we'll take it. As long as he got on, we will take it and not going to complain. Good stuff, Conforto. That way to stay with it. Drive it over there. It was weak grounder, but hey, it's a base hit. And we got James McCann coming up to bat now with one out. Trying to find a way to avoid that double play ball. And James McCann is in trouble here. He's in a 0-2 hole, one out. Got men on first and second. Looking to see if we can bring home the first run in this ball game. It's gonna send it up to middle. Oh, we're gonna have an error over there at second. And everybody is gonna be safe. Bases are loaded with one out. Let's go. Not sure who's batting, though. I'm not batting, but I'm not sure who's over there at second base, but he's just caused Garrett Richards potentially some runs here in this one. Uh oh count. Let's see what he can do with one out and bases loaded. And Jeff McNeil sends this one high out there to right field. Kind of in the yep. foul territory. We will tag up, bring the runner home, and that will be the yep. first run in this ball game. So McNeil does his job out yep. there and brings home the first run as we have men on first and second now. Could have sent the guy from second to third, but I mean, it would have kind of just been a little bit doing too much. And Carrasco's going to end up popping this one for a base hit out there in right field. We're not going to send the runners, though, man. There was no point. That was way too shallow. Carrasco comes up big, fastball out of the zone, and just gets a base hit. Carrasco's been one of our better hitting pitchers. Like, this is unreal. He's not a guy that's been, like, with the bat for the most of his career because he's been in the AL. But Brandon Nimmo's up to bat now with bases loaded. 3-1 count, Brandon Nimmo with bases loaded. Garrett Rich has kind of been all over the place here. He's struggling. Can Nimmo do something with bases loaded? Nimmo sends a sinker to center field, and that is not going to do anything. Just missed it. Unfortunately, we're only able to get one run, and Garrett Richards gets out of a jam. Carrasco, let's see what you can do in the mound, man, as we enter the third inning. 2-2 two -two count now. Let's see if we can get it here on the very next pitch. Get Renfro up out of here. And we will see you later, Renfro. Getting caught looking at a high slider. Not where you want it, but that'll be strikeout number two in the ball game. And Gary Richards is going to easily bump this one over. And, oh, man, we made a great mistake not going just to get the tag. Oh, that, that's, yeah, that, that's just on me right there, man. We got to get that day. <laughs> we got to get the dang out, man. I thought we had an opportunity to get it, but, man, that ball was just moving way too slow. We were close, though, but, yeah, we can't do that. We cannot do that. Xander Bogarts now up to bat. He's over one on the day looking for a double play ball, if possible. And Bogarts creams it. It's a 3-1 Red Sox lead. A sinker did not sink in the Red Sox. Oh, boy, they take the early lead. We had the early lead 1-0, and now we are giving it right back. Bogarts sends it right over that wall. One two count for JD Martinez has struck out already once. We'll take another strikeout or a double play ball would be much preferred. Ball hit out there to right field. Conforto is gonna have it. And that'll be out number two. Two two count, two outs, two men on. Looking to minimize this damage. 
Can Carrasco get it done? The ball is going to be... Oh, my goodness. He's just going to run all the way to first. He didn't want to throw it. He just kept running. Okay, well, we'll take the out. Not before Bogarts hits a three-run bomb. And Lindor is up to bat now, leading us off in the third inning. Oh, one count. Trying to see if we can potentially scratch across maybe some more runs here in this one. It's a great hit for Lindor. He's going to get it all the way to the wall, and it will be a leadoff double for us. Great stuff, Lindor. Lindor has been such a huge bat this year. We'll take the double. We will take the double all day, every day. As Gary o comes up to bat. 2-2 two -two count. Pete Alonzo's up to bat. One for one on the day. We'd love to bring Lindor around home. As he's only 90 feet away. And we can't hold up on the slider outside of the zone. Ah, man. That's, that's rough. We got a leadoff double and couldn't nobody bring him home with our big boys in the lineup. That's rough. Looking for a strikeout. 0-2 count. Christian Verasquez is up to bat. The bullpen is up and going. Let's hopefully we have a better inning than the third. And it's going to be a liner to Lindor. No issues out there. It's going to be our number one in the fourth. 1-2 count. Hunter Renfro was up to bat. Looking for out number two here in the fourth inning. And that ball is launched. Let's center field. Back goes the center fielder, and we are not able to grab that one. The sinker, once again, is taken deep. And honestly, I think that might have to do it for Carrasco, man. It's just it's just not his day out here. It's just not his day. He is missing with some pitches. I mean, honestly, we're lucky it's not an even worse blowout. That sinker was nowhere near where it was supposed to be, and that's another home run. Hey, yeah, you know what? We went ahead and go and pull. Carrasco. I mean, it's just no point sending him out here if he's just going to keep getting torched around like that. So I'd rather go ahead and go to the pin here early. we got some long relievers. Let's see if they can do the job. 0-2 count. Looking for a strikeout is Joey Lecheski on Kike Hernandez. Hopefully we can get up out of this fourth inning without any more runs being allowed. And that's going to be another base hit. That is not what we wanted. Lecheski, come on, dude. Got to be better than that. Looking for us. The pitcher is going to be coming up to bat. We're not going to make that same mistake we did last time if we can't get the double play ball. And here we go. Okay, so we're going to be able to get the double play ball this time. It was a bad bunt, and we'll get out of this fourth inning. We'll take it. No issues there. Let's see if our offense can do something, man. We're down three runs here early. 3-1 count. Michael Conforto is up to bat now. You guys can see, man, this pitch has not been accurate. We should have been at Gary Richards a long time ago. And unfortunately, Conforto is just going to roll this one over. It's just not been Conforto's last few series, man. Hopefully, at some point, he's going to eat it up. But it might be time to keep him. He might need to keep being, getting moved down in the lineup. Jeff McNeil up to bat now. He had the sacrifice fly that brought home our first run of this ball game. Let's see what he can do here. And McNeil sends this one out there to right center field. No issues for the right fielder. And, oh, he missed it. He absolutely missed it. Unreal. And Carrasco was going to come up to bat with a man at third. Wow. Unfortunately, McNeil didn't have a lot of speed, man. He may, And they're going to actually call that a triple instead of an error. But, wow, unfortunately, yeah, he didn't have enough speed because he could have came around that base path. He's running that 70-80 mark and just misplaced by Renfro out there at third base. Almost pulled Lecheski, was going to bring in somebody else to bat, but we just really can't blow our bullpen up that, this early in the series. Now, it's only a two-game series, so it wouldn't be that bad. Lecheski just flies it out over there to right field. It may have been, it may come back to bite us in the long run, but we're going to have to see. Up to bat now, Xander Bogars is the reason we're in this hellhole right now <laughs> with that three-run bomb hit. See what Lecheski can do. Rounder, Bogarts, base hit again. And it might be time to start thinking about not letting Bogarts hit the ball anymore. I get it, it was just a single, but still. Looking for a strikeout or a double play ball for Verdugo. Can Lecheski get it? And this ball is hit out there to left center field. Nemo needs to get on his horse. And he is there in time to make a great catch over there. And we'll get out number one. Lecheski versus J.D. Martinez. A double play ball would be beneficial here. And that ball is another missed sinker, but J.D. Martinez missed it just as bad as we did. And that's going to be out number two here in the fourth. And Nemo, what are you doing? <laughs> You're throwing to the cutoff, man. 2-0 count for Francisco Lindor. He had the leadoff double last time he was up to bat in the third inning. Unfortunately, we couldn't get anything going. And Lindor will send it right field. Will it stay fair? No. Oh, we needed that one, Lindor. 
just out in front of that too much. Come on. It'll be a full count now for Lindor after having potential two home runs in one at bat. He's going to get a liner over there to the first baseman, and he's going to get the out. An unfortunate at bat for Lindor. It looked like he had what was going to cut this lead in half home run. 0-2 count. Joe Lechesky still out here on the mound looking to get a strikeout here. I'm not even sure he has a strikeout yet since coming out in for relief for Carrasco. Ball sent deep out there to center field. And back out there will be Nimmo, and that'll be out number one in the sixth inning. 1-0 count. Christian Vasquez is up to bat now. And that ball is a hanging changeup, and man, oh man. We, <laughs> we can't get anything going right today. Pitching staff has been brutal, and the Red Sox are taking advantage of every single mistake we are making. And man, it's been rough. Lecheski, Carrasco, neither one of them just have it. Wow. Oh, one count to Kike Hernandez. Looking to get him up out of this inning. This ball is sent deep and another one. Oh my goodness, another miss freaking pitch. And it is gone. His first home run of the year. Oh my goodness, man. Our off speed pitches are just been hanging the entire game. And that is not what we were looking for coming into this one. And the Red Sox offense has exploded in New York. And Lecheski, it's time for you to go. 0-1 count. Mike Conforto is up the bat now. Looking to see if he can try and muster anything going for us. He's got one of the few hits today. Sends it down there to right field. Is this ball out of here? Yes, it is. Michael Conforto with a solo shot home run. Sends it over there to that right field wall that's pretty short distance. And he lines it up out of here, and that ball got out of here in a hurry. We'll take it, though. Mike Conforto cuts this lead to four. Might not be out of it, but we'll see. Got a little time left, but not much. That win streak is definitely on the line, though. Down four, James McCann will come up with two outs. I think get something going. Man, you can't give a power-hitting lefty a belt-high ball on the inner half like that. I mean, you can. But he's just going to do what he does right here and yank it out of the park. One two count to Devers. Can we keep him over in this ball game? Yes, we will. A strikeout on the day for Devers. And David Peterson gets up out of here in the seventh. We got three innings of work, y'all. Let's see if we can get something going. 3 0 count. Jeff McNeil would love to have a leadoff walk to get something going for us. And he'll get that exactly four straight pitches in a walk. 3-1 count. Luis Guillerme is pinch hitting now for David Peterson. They want to waste VR just because we needed a left-handed bat. So we'll see. And it'll be a walk for Guillerme. We'll take it. We'll count for Nemo if we find a way to walk again. And that'll be a base hit potentially. No, we're not going to get it from Nemo. But he will move the runners over. We'll take it. And possibly would have got a run in if we could have got that ball past the first baseman. But for us, we do have one of our best bats coming up, Francisco Lindor. Let's see what you can do with runners in scoring position. Lindor takes it out there to left field. That ball is going to be hit decently. Not deep enough, though, to get out of here. But it will be another sacrifice fly to cut the lead in half. 6-3 ball game. We're not out of it just yet. 0-2 count for Gariel Jr. We'd love to bring home another run. And oh my goodness, man, he didn't go around. We may have been early on it, but he just didn't go around. Wow, we bailed his pitcher out. Christian Vasquez, one of the many guys that have hit a home run for the Red Sox in this one, looking to get him out of here. 0-2 count, Familia is going to get him. Fastball rising. Got him out of here for the strikeout. Love to see it, Familia. That would have come in strong. 1-2 count, Pete Alonzo, one out. Let's see what he can do here. We need somebody to get on base. We're down to our final few outs here in this one. And oh, a slider. We had bad PCI. We dropped it way too much on that one. And down goes Alonzo. 2-2 count. Can we get the first out here in the ninth? Yes, we will. Got him way out in front on a slider. Down goes Kike the first time we sat him down in this game. Looking to just get us to the bottom of the ninth. Bogart's familiar. 2-2 two, two count. Two outs. Going to get him looking at 101 mile power. Fastball. Down goes Bogart. 
And it's coming down to the bottom of the ninth. The bottom part of our order is coming up to bat. And honestly, sometimes they're our better guys. The big guys did not come through for us. Matt Barnes will come out here to close it out. He's got a high ERA, though. Let's see if we can get to him. 0 for 3 on the day. McCann, we need you to get something going for us to lead us off. And that is not what we wanted. Popped it straight up. First baseman is there. That's our number one. We're down to our final two. Jeff McNeil's up to bat now. He's got a triple in this ball game. even though it really kind of wasn't a triple. Sacrifice fly and a walk. And McNeil will send this one out there to center field. Center field is coming on and it's going to end up dropping for a single. We'll take it. And now we'll get a pinch hitter to come in. 0-2 count now for VR. Not went too well for him so far in this at bat. Just trying to keep the inning alive. He's going to send this one out there to right field. Deep out there. Can it get past Renfro? Yes, it will. And unfortunately, we got people on the base path. But McNeil will get in the third. Men in scoring position with the top of the lineup coming back around. Renfro again misses in right field. Unreal. Renfro struggles continue. Unfortunately, we didn't have two outs in this one. Let's get it, Jonathan Villar, but thank you, Hunter Renfro, right now. 2-2 two -two count for Nemo. You got to at least bring home one run. And Nemo to right field. Will it stay fair? No, you got to be kidding us. That's the second time today, and that would have tied it. Unreal. Unreal. And that will be a missed pitch inside. Full count now. And Nemo will come through with a base hit yeah. and a plate home too. Nemo's gonna have to hold up at first though and not go yeah. to second. And we would have been gunned out and it is a one yeah. run game with Francisco Lindor to come up. Lindor missed the home run earlier. Let's see if he can walk it off for us, baby. Let's go. Great stuff, Nemo. That a way to stay with it. He got a perfect hit. Sent it right back to the pitcher. Let's go, boys. Let's go. One, two count. Looking to avoid a double play ball will be Lindor. He's going to send this one to the shortstop. Six, four, three, double play. That's going to do it. Six, five is the final, and we cannot come back. We tried. We tried a hell of a job by the Boston Red Sox. They ended this nine-game win streak. And, man, we got, we got torched. We got torched. I think they hit maybe four home runs in this one. Bogarts went deep. Kike went deep. I mean, yeah, it was just a game, man. It, we should have got to that starter a lot quicker than what we did, and he ended up going deeper than what he should have. Carrasco just didn't have it today, and they're going to end up losing this one. Bogarts three-run home run. Definitely killed us in this one. Yeah, looks like we gave up four home runs in that one. Yeah, that, that just cannot happen. We can't have that again. We cannot. Unfortunately, that's going to end our illustrious winning streak. It's going to come to a halt at nine. We're not able to get it to double digits. But we'll try to bounce back to against the Red Sox next time, man. We can't make that many mistake of pitches. Taking a stand, I mean, taking a mound will be Marcus Stroman, not the stand. We do not want Stroman going to the stand. But, unfortunately, we'll have to pick it up there. You guys, I want to say thank you all very much for watching this video. If y'all did enjoy the live commentary this time, we're going to do it again for the next game versus the Red Sox just to kind of give this series the live comp feel. So, hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you, you guys' thoughts on how, you know, the live commentary went. And if you prefer it like this, you guys also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with this New York Mets franchise and more that we're going to be posting on this series. I'm actually thinking about starting to do live streaming. Uh, I'm going to hop into Diamond Dynasty. I might start doing that on the weekends a little bit, so... Be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure if I'll do it this weekend or not, but it could be something that comes. So, like I said, be on the lookout for it. It may happen. It may not this weekend. It might happen next weekend. I'm not sure, but it is something I want to get into. But that's going to do it for me, you guys. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. I'm out to next time, everybody. Peace. And it's the love from my fans got me still here.